our presentation comes closer to home. And um, the red arrow shows the second biggest island of Estonia, Hiuma. Uh, and uh, our case study looks at uh, planned offshore wind parks, which is about 12 kilometers from the coast. The, as an introduction, I would like to say that this um, case study and another one as well uh, were carried out under the Interreg project called Good Environmental Status Through Regional Cooperation and Capacity okay. Building. And uh, we had a good team. Evelyn Urbeldir, Pirsalo, Aleona Karlosheva, Sulev Numan, Heidi Tuhkan and Valdur Lahve, who have all been part of, of that project. And particularly in this case, uh, we are focusing on the conflicting uh, area of um, conflicting use of marine area. And this is even in a bigger picture the conflicting, potentially conflicting EU policies. One is biodiversity conservation, which is aiming at halting the biodiversity loss. And another one is um, energy policy, reducing carbon um, emissions. And of course, good environmental status actually comes from even a third environmental policy or strategy, which is then related to marine status. Here is uh, Iuma Island, and we are talking about four shallow areas. The Apollo is uh, so to call most valuable because of its uh, bottom habitats and a lot of bird migrating birds who are uh, overwintering because this area is also um, ice free during the winter time. There's a lot of uh, food for uh, birds. Uh, around 10 different types of birds have been <coughs> identified and uh, around seven of them are at Apollo Shoal. And Western Shoals uh, as well important uh, shallow areas. And when we talk about the bottom Habitats then uh, mainly reef, stony, which is not very common for the Baltic Sea, and they are more on western shoals, and Apollo Shoal has then sandy sandy banks. And uh, what were our research questions then? Is the value of using marine areas for wind energy production higher of the value than preserving the habitats and biodiversity of the of these marine ecosystems can provide. And uh, when we talk about the wind parks, then uh, is society willing to pay extra for the wind park with minimal environmental impact? Because uh, the cases show that with the design of the wind park, how the turbines are allocated, um, the distances, how they follow uh, the relief of the bottom they and the material you use for the construction, it can have an um, impact that reduces uh, the negative impact to the environment. And what, why is this um, renewable energy discussion so important? In Estonia, more than 80% of our energy comes from oil, shale-based energy. And we are aiming at renewable energy. Of course, we are actually meeting already e EU minimal requirements, thus this is the question, should we uh, go for more? And then about the valuable sandy banks, the bottom reefs of the same, the western shoals, and for example, long-tailed tuck and other important migrating birds. Um, we had a web-based survey uh, around 700 respondents. Uh, the questionnaire was carried out both in Estonia and, and in uh, Russian to cover the, the whole nation. And um, when we asked about uh, their willingness to pay, then um, already currently people are paying for renewable energy as um, one addition on their energy bill. And then it was uh, asked whether they would be willing to. I, I can show you later on what kind of uh, choice cards they had. But basically, what people 
agree or disagree? What is the general opinion? People do favor EU targets for more renewable energy sources and that uh, energy, your renewable energy should be supported. But uh, when it comes to, but still I think it's important for you to understand that about one third is also in opinion of that oil shale potential as a priority should be used as well. And of course one can understand because the whole northeast um, region of Estonia where the oil shale complex is located is depending their livelihoods on, on that industry. What is the general knowledge about marine habitats overall? Uh, and whether people have been in Hiuma, do they know the place? Yes, people have been there, but I think it was also important to understand that uh, or see that prior to this survey, people did not have too much information or the information was not as precise because you don't see uh, under the water. Uh, they were presented the information that in Estonia about 27% um, of marine areas have already some sort of protection, but at the same time uh, only one third of marine area has been uh, mapped that we know actually what is, what is there. Uh, how to ask people how much they are willing to pay. We used a discrete choice experiment method, not a contingent valuation that would give us a certain sum for different scenarios, but this discrete choice gave us opportunity to play all together with some 15 different scenarios. And then what we were asking, status quo that nothing <coughs> happens, also the area is not protected, some mining could uh, carry on. Alternatives, then whether we have uh, ordinary wind parks or then more eco wind parks. And this was the choice card. People had altogether 12 choice cards. And uh, the cost levels were 0, 2, 5, 10 and 20 euros per year for them to pay for those different choices. And what were the main results? The first preference is status quo. People would not like to pay actually if they are asked up front. And it's understandable for Estonians, this is the first year of open energy market. There have been a lot of discussions that renewable energy will cost on the bill, though the oil shale price is not shown on the same bill. But when these concrete choices are presented, then actually you can see quite interesting uh, developments that there is a high willingness to pay for marine protected areas. And when they are on both shoals, then people are willing to pay up to nine euro per person per year for those protected areas. And we have scenarios we can tell how much to only Apollo or on the western shore. There is no willingness to pay for planned wind park, the ordinary wind parks, but there is a high willingness to pay for environmentally sound wind park. And this uh, is up to eight euro per person per year and um, the work is, or let's say, I will answer to these two questions, what we uh, said at the beginning. Is then value you to use the marine area for wind energy higher? This tells us no, but also in that context what we were asking and what kind of information we were given. This comes to another slide, I will tell you. And is the society willing to pay extra for the wind park with minimal environment impact? Yes, they are. And um, what we would like to study further, this is a detailed analysis with existing data because there are so much more additional models and things we can look into. And then we definitely see that we would like to carry out new survey uh, because with the additional benefits to local communities, that they are part of the uh, owners, they, there will be a foundation that will pay for local communities or energy cooperatives that this is something which comes to the inclusiveness as well. And we expect that their willingness to pay for that uh, will, will be different. Thank you. Thank you.